Hi dear viewers, this is Arash Kamoli with another session of the website programming course on the Python programming language and the Django framework. Again, as always, a very warm and sincere welcome from me. If you remember well, in the previous session, we prepared the group section and shown the groups there. Now we are going to create the add and delete section where we can add and delete the groups. First, I go to temp template to add the certain box that we need and other parts as well are going to be made in template as well. And here, for instance, from the category section, the adding category here, as you see, I make a, let's see if it is only adding the categories. Yep, I copy this row here and as you see, okay, let's, uh, let's take care of this part as well. Let's check. Well, yep, that's right. Let me check the inside. Let's see what we have over here. And let's see what we copied. Yeah, copy. I copy this and set it over here before. Let's see how it looks now. It looks like this. Now, what I need to do is to edit the name and other features, add group. Uh, let's say okay and then this here this would be group name okay and let's see how it looks now yeah only my name we need to change the capitals to a small letters only for the aesthetics aspects nothing special you can choose any name you want my page looks like this now okay now we need to make the function in the view so let's make the function i go to manager view and then make a new function okay manager group underline that's right what else do we have and then i want it to return to manager i say redirect to let's see manager underline list that's right i copy this i won't be needing this section in my URL, I need to define it. I say manager group add group. Okay, and group add group. All right, and then over here, the name should be set right there using the post method. I need to correct this over here now i refresh and click okay it went to the manager list well we redirected it wrongly we need to send it to the group here where we redirected we should have sent it to the manager group but unfortunately we made a mistake here it should have gone to manager underline group we send it to another function submit and again it returns to this function all right uh, first i need to get the name we used to check and make sure that it has been filled in which is the right thing to do now we need to double check how we can check in the html in the group name we say group name required that is, it needs to be filled in. Now, as you see, if I hit submit, it won't allow me uh, in all the fields, whether it is upload or any other field, it can be activated to make sure that the user adds something and that the fields have been filled in. Okay, here I say if request dot dot what 
can you guess method right you guess it right equal equal post that is if it equals post it would be name equals request dot post dot get and it gets the name okay here we are getting the name field from the user now we want to save it in the group we make a group with this name at first we need to get the name then we need to check it again we say if name okay equals or oh, sorry opposite an empty string that is if something had been added then we say for instance group equals group with capital G and then name equals name that's what we do and group dot as you see the first group is with a small g and the second one with capital g this group is our variable the names now i have set the name of my variable as group you can choose anything that you want but uh, this group is the model of my group and we can treat it the way we used to treat the groups in Django uh, when in our app we gave it the name of the model parentheses and the fields for news and etc here is the name these are the names we can treat them like models and give the group a name to do this for us now we go and test our page i refresh the page and define a test group uh, let's see a test group is made for me now i go to the groups and here a test group has been made for me so uh we won't be actually needing to do it on the django admin we can do it through our own admin for instance i define another group i use the name test as you see it gave me an error over here there's an error so you need to be careful to check these after we have checked to see they're not empty we would say if we get a len of course at the end of the query we can use dot counts here we say if len now which model group dot objects dot filter it needs to filter based on what so that name equals name if this len equal equal zero okay then what it needs to be made now i go back and refresh my page and test another test and as you see nothing happens you can complete this you must be proficient with these items and these procedures you can add an else and send it to the error page and tell the user there is already such a name but our system will not run into an error these are very important things in programming to take care of the bugs so that our website will not have any of them and doesn't cause any inconveniences while using the website now the next thing we need to do is to make the delete button i made a group and now i want to delete it in the view here i copy this function again that's the first thing that we do and instead of add call it delete or del for delete add it at the end and the pk uh, will be received this time instead of pk i want to receive the name okay so receive the name and let's see when i have received the name what should i do then let's see i need to say b equals group dot object dot that's right a filter based on what this time i have used name where name equals name and b dot delete 
okay we have always used pk this time i use name to see how it works as you see there is no difference whatsoever between pk and the name i make the url the url will be panel manager group okay del and it is no longer pk the name of our field is name because i have used name here the input of the function can be more than one for instance name comma uh, pk comma etc you can just add other names after the commas that we add in between there can be several of them and at the end dot asterisk and then it needs to connect to manager group del and manager group delete okay that's fine and here as you see we need to correct the delete i say delete but it is no longer pk i need a name name equals cc dot name and for the edit i deactivate the url i refresh the page and it has been deleted if i refresh again i wouldn't be having any groups and thus the management of the groups from the ready-made django admin has been moved to our own admin where we can have both the deleting and the add-in procedures available to us so that we can add any groups that we want or delete it thus we won't have to do it in the main django admin necessarily and it is more professional of course and the admin can make any groups that he wants on the next level we are going to learn how to make and manage permissions we are going to attach certain permissions to certain groups and then what we need to do is to check the permissions and groups in the view and in the templates.